Hello and welcome to our last video of converting analog digital converters. Yeah? I have told you I will tell you something about a converter which is very fast. Yeah? Pretty expensive. Such converters, they are called direct converters, flash converters, parallel converters. Yeah? They are how they are working. They have the input voltage yeah? and they have a bunch of, of, of comparators which will compare the input voltage to certain voltage level. And I need as many comparators, as many steps I want to have. Yeah? This is what makes them expensive, but this is also what makes them really, really, really fast. Yeah? They are comparing at the same time to all possible voltage values. Cannot be faster. There's almost no conversion time. I show you how those are built. Okay. So we have a comp comparator, another comparator, another comparator, another comparator, another comparator, another comparator, another comparator, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I draw a final one. Now I have eight comparators. Okay. And I have the input voltage. And this input voltage is distributed to all the comparators in parallel. Okay, K1, K2, K3, K4, K5, K6, K7, K8. Yeah, and they are co the voltage, the, the input voltage is con compared to different voltage levels here simply. Yeah. So let's say 0 to 5 volt, uh, 1 volt, 1.5 volt, 2 volt, 2.5 volt, 3 volt, 3.5 volt, 4 volt. Okay, here this is UI. What I have is a memory. For every comparator result, I have one bit memory. Yeah. These comparators will write their result into the memory. And then what comes out, what is the result of this, is the so-called thermometer code. So it's looking almost like a thermometer, you know, the hotter the temperature, the higher the level of the liquid inside, it's looking pretty much the same. The more ones there are, the bigger the voltage is. Okay. This is not already the correct number, I just need to recode it, so there's a recoder. Recoder, which will take this code here and transfer it into a number. In this case, I need four bits. So this is a four bit flash converter. You see, since we are converting to all possible levels, yeah. At the same time, there is almost no, no conversion time. It, they are really fast. And you see there are a lot of elements involved, so they are pretty much expensive. Mm -hmm. There are other methods uh, for, with pipelining, so that I use 
some uh, converters yeah. and uh, of the same type then they are a little bit slower and a little bit cheaper yeah, because then there are standard elements and so on uh, flash converter this is as fast as it gets So, well, that's it. Yeah? That's what I wanted to tell you about analog digital converters. There are more converters out there. Uh, there are more methods. Not like sand on the on the beach, but the pretty. There's, for instance, the weight method, where we use the bits not in order, but in order of of significance that we add a high significant bit and if it's too high we get away and use the next one and so on like we're using on a on a vage vage scale it's called scale uh we'll look it up vage balken vage yeah we'll put it somewhere here uh, the word I'm looking for. So, and that's also my last video about digital technology. Uh, there is for sure more to tell about di digital technology, for sure. Yeah? But this video should only give you a little starting point. Uh, so, this is what you're going to hear from my side about digital technology. If you want to dig in deeper, dig in deeper. Yeah? It's worth it, I would say, like always. Yeah? If, you, if you want, if you're interested in a topic, dig in and get an expert. If you're not that interested, I think that's enough for us to understand. If you understood this, you're pretty fine. So, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.